If you identify as transgender, does that somehow affect your spirit or your soul? Aloha friend, what a wonderful question. When it comes to people who identify on any spectrum, whether you're a cisgendered male or female or non-binary, or if you identify as transgender, that is how we experience this life expression. That is how we identify. But when it comes to spirit, again, spirit is different than soul. But let's talk about spirit for a moment. Spirit has a whole series of things that we're learning in this life expression. For example, one of the things that chemo in my life expression is learning is how to be an educator on different platforms that don't always embrace this kind of education. That's one of my lessons. These are the different things that I'm learning in this life expression. Some of the things that people are learning in their life expressions when they identify as non-binary or it's transgendered, this is one of those things that you are learning. And there's no right or wrong when it comes to that. Even though I don't identify as non-binary and I don't identify as transgendered, that doesn't mean that I can't identify with you as spirit me and you and spirit together that has nothing to do with it when we're speaking to spirit in essence spirit is just one aspect of our soul let's talk about soul for a moment soul has absolutely no gender it is a genderless fluidity of consciousness why would it need a gender but if soul did have a gender which again it does not but if soul did have a gender it would be non-binary itself because it is neither a more dominant masculine or feminine that doesn't exist in the soul soul essence that does not matter soul has made choice to create spirit that is dropped into this life expression for chemo that identifies as male or not that is what i'm experiencing in this moment and soul is just the aspect the larger the larger aspect of that this is what is, i'm experiencing right now i do want to draw attention that the idea of what is non-binary and transgender is not new this is not new information if you were to go back into the many indigenous and aboriginal cultures this existed even in my own aboriginal kanaka maoli practice we had mahu combination of kane and wahine a combination of beautiful synthesis of the masculine and the feminine in a third gender perspective soul is genderless so however you identify i'll respect it